So, it's been roughly around three weeks since the last update. This time I'm not going to waste too much on the intro, but all I want to say is the last two devlogs of this randomly just blew up three times for each video. So, all I just want to say is thank you for the absolutely amazing support, but I'll do more on that later. So, the first thing that I started on is that I wanted to work on the kind of bobble in the game. Or just the camera's moving to make it look like you're walking. And the reason why is because it only works for walking and not running. Since I didn't really know how to do that, I looked on the dev forum for some answers. Now, I'm not going to go into much detail about this, but getting a bobble to work with running is apparently really hard. Because what the hell is this? Seriously, what the hell is this? And what the hell is this? And what is this? I think you can tell why I didn't work on this after like two days. Anyway, I wanted to remake the run animation. Again. This time, I actually took inspiration, using some of the animations from games like Reason to Die by looking at their run animations, and going from that point onward. Each run animation had two simple ways of animating, for the legs and the arms. It's pretty much just making it go forward and back. I'll explain a little bit more later. First thing I started to work on was the main menu, because the main menu right now looks kind of plain. So first thing I added was a few more buttons on it, you know, to kind of fill up the main menu. Next thing I did was I made the buttons and stuff move because it looks fancy, and I also did that for the rest of the buttons. Next thing I did is I started to make it so that when you press start, it starts to show up stuff. For example, chapters, and these chapters are pretty much just images from inside of the actual game, and then once the player clicks it, they're going to be spawned somewhere, and that's how it's going to be. Anyway, this is all that there is right now, so here. Next, I started to work on the AI, since a scary game can't be scary without AI, so I started there. First thing I made was just a big tall black monster, and rigged him up with rig edit light. Next I did some pretty quick walking animation. Afterwards, I put it together a small little maze for the monster to walk through because pretty much what the plan is, is for the monster to walk around a maze to certain points in the maze trying to look for the player or kind of patrol around the area. Anyway, once I was done making the maze, I put waypoints in and around the maze. And the main realization hit, I don't know how to make an AI, so once again, I use the internet. I decided to use two different AIs from two different videos and kind of mesh them together to make my own. So I imported both of the models and I started from there. So that didn't work out, did not work out at all. The AI script I made had several bugs in it, the player finding system didn't work, and when I go to one waypoint, then immediately stop. Because of this, I just deleted the entire thing. When I got back on studio, I decided to go back to the sprint animation thingy. Like I said, the animations follows a simple set of rules forward and back. For this time of the run animation, I really wanted to hope that this is the last animation I decided to do because I almost made four of them now. 
Anyway, this video needs to be around 8 minutes long, so here's roughly a small time lapse. Afterwards, I set up the animations. Here is the newest and hopefully latest sprint animation. Afterwards, I started to work on a flashlight. Because all the animations were bad, and sometimes the player's arm would just randomly stay up after not holding anything. So I made a quick little checking system to see if certain animations were playing, stuff like that. Oh, and by the way, credits to this guy for reminding me about animation priority, since I completely forgot about it, and also forgot how useful it is. Later, I did some fine tuning to the flashlight, it didn't take long, and here's how it looks now. When I got on studio this time, I decided to make a little talking GUI to show the player that someone is actually talking to them. So I started to work on that. Just, it was not really hard, not complicated, pretty simple. GUI, two text, pretty easy. And here is the final example. Now comes the part, which is probably by far the hardest thing I tried to do, which is a cutscene. You know, those kinds of mini videos that get popular on YouTube. The ones where it's in, like, actual good games. Anyway, the first thing I did was import my character. I'm gonna be using my character to animate. Next, I started by making a hallway with a turn. Once I was done with that, I added these kind of pillars because fancy or something. After, I put up these lights to light up the hallway. Added this room with a lever and a big metal door with particles along the side to make it look like it was actually closing. Once I was done with that, I added some parts that are going to be used as cameras. And now comes the hard part the animating. I'm not going to go into much detail, but it's also one of the reasons why this video took so long to be released. Or maybe because I'm just bad at animating. And also because I don't really want to look up the tutorials because... Anyway, here's a little bit of me animating. And this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. All I want to say is a big thanks to everyone who supported the last two videos because they randomly spiked up in popularity. So I just want to say thanks. By the time of recording this, for the first devlog is around 3 views away from a thousand. I can't explain how much I appreciate it all. Anyway, as you know, I'll probably be making more of this soon. If you want to see the continuation, probably recommend liking. Uh, anyway, hope I'll catch y'all in the next video.